Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 10.15 in Honolulu, 4.15 in New York, last day of the month, last day of the quarter, September 30th, 2015, and this is a the daily report for gold and silver. We have the precious metals markets closing lower today, fairly strong move to the downside, closing lower on the day, now lower on the month and obviously lower on the quarter. We're looking at gold currently at 1114.89, call it 1115. Consider this, a week ago Thursday, we had the precious metals markets really running into a rally that really terminated roughly at 1156, I believe. And then following that, of course, over the last four trading days, meaning Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and today, we have seen this market drift lower, breaking through substantial levels, first at 33, and then today, 21. Now, 21 and the 38% levels from this last large rally right in here, taking it from roughly 1071 up to 1171. And traders, I've just added another Fib retracement. And this Fib retracement is a much shorter time period in a much more compressed range. This beginning down at 1100, which were the lows that it hit after falling up to this high at 11.57. Now, when we do that, there's a couple of things that are pretty noteworthy. First of all, we do have a Fibonacci harmonics and that harmonics is sitting roughly at 11.21. So that tells me that that is a pretty important number that we've just barreled through. The second thing is we get a harmonics, the 78% resistance level at 11.11 and then 11.10 on a 61.8% resistance level. And that is matching up with the current low that we have seen on the day as gold is traded throughout its range. So that is also a pretty important number in terms of technical studies. This is really, really close together. You're separated by about a dollar, a dollar fifty in terms of the actual numbers themselves. So it certainly qualifies as a harmonics. If this particular area cannot hold, meaning 1111 to 1109, roughly in that area, I believe that gold prices have nowhere to go but to retest these lows that it hit just below $1,100, and that was right in this particular area after hitting these highs at 7071, coming down and then having a lower high at around 57. Now, as you know, that number, the, the 57, 56 area is also a very critical area, but it's a critical area for a much more long-term study. And of course, as the study that I'm referring to is this monthly chart that we're currently looking at with two basic Fib retracements. We've been looking at this for quite some time. One particular Fib retracement going from really the onset of the rally back in 2001, taking us up to the record top above 1900. And then the second leg of this rally, of course, which goes from just below 700 to above 1900. And what is really interesting is that when we look at the 50% retracement, that's 1092. And that really matches up with the most recent lows that we have seen now for the third month in a row. We have not breached this particular area. That area to me is absolutely critical. Now, I'm still looking at major support, if it's going to hold at all, has got to hold at 1090, 1092 in this area. It has held for three months, does not mean that it will hold again. And the reason I say that is when we look at prior activity in the market, you can see that as this market came down, it tested this 1156 area on a number of occasions. We saw that test right in here and then again right here. And so we did finally on the third attempt break below that. Now we are now into the third month in which we've seen these lows at 1092. So to me, that's absolutely a critical area if this market is going to hold any kind of price structure above the current range that we have seen in the market. We still have absolute resistance at about 1156, of course, shorter term resistance are the marks that we just talked about, which is the 21% retracement level. And then we have our minor levels of support right now, roughly at 1109 with major support that is essential 
to hold. If not, I fear we are going to go lower and possibly even test $1,000 if in fact we break below 1092. So in terms of what we're looking at in the marketplace itself, I have to say that we could easily see this market continue under pressure. We do not have support coming into the markets in any of the areas that we have deemed to be important technical levels that need to be held. We have held above 10, yes, 1092, but that's very, very tentative. So whether or not this market can hold this level as we go into the final quarter of the year is really going to determine what we're looking at over the next couple of months. As I said, a breach below this particular price point, meaning 1092, I believe would almost necessitate a testing of $1,000 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for another daily update review. Bye-bye.